Hi guys, this is my last new book to show you. My last little golden book that was a new gift this year. And it is The Ugly Duckling. The Ugly Duckling. So the copyright was 1952. Now it looks like this was reprinted in 2017. One lovely summer afternoon, a mother duck sat on her nest. In the nest, warm and snug, were five beautiful eggs. The mother duck sat very still, waiting for the eggs to hatch into five little ducklings. At last, the mother gave a quack of joy and sprang off the nest. The eggs were rocking back and forth. From inside them came pecking and scratching sounds. The mother duck bent over to watch. Then one, two, three, four eggs cracked open and out tumbled four tiny ducklings, yellow as butter and soft as down with bright eyes and cute little bills. They all stood up and looked around. Then, with soft little clacks, they climbed out of the nest and waddled around in the shade. What a beautiful family, the mother duck thought. But then, she looked at the nest and sadly shook her head, for the fifth and biggest egg had not hatched yet. So, she sat down again and waited some more. Soon the big egg showed signs of life. In a moment, two feet broke through the shell. Then a head appeared. But instead of being small and yellow and downy, like the other ducklings, it was big and white and fuzzy. Honk, said the new duckling, eager to be liked. Horror, said the mother duck. He doesn't sound like any child of mine. Quack, said the other ducklings. He's funny looking too. We don't want to play with an ugly duckling. And they waddled away with their mother. The ugly duckling couldn't understand why everyone had left him alone. He followed the others down to the pond. There he found the mother duck. She was swimming around the pond with the four little ducklings on her back. The ugly duckling honked at them, hoping for a ride, but the mother duck just scowled at him and told him to go away. Poor ugly duckling. There he sat, all along the edge of the pond. Why won't they play with me, he wondered sadly. Why do they call me ugly? Big tears filled his eyes and trickled down to splash in the pond. The ugly duckling glancing down saw a strange sight. There was his own reflection. All blurred and twisted with the ripples of the water. Oh dear, cried the ugly duckling. I am ugly indeed. I will run away and hide where no one will see me. So he turned away from the sunny pond and went slowly into the dark and gloomy forest. How sad he felt there, alone in the forest, with the silent shadows looming all around. But after a while, he heard a friendly chirping. Baby birds were calling from their cozy nest. They sound nice, thought the ugly duckling. Maybe they will play with me. So he hopped and scrambled into the nest with them. The baby birds liked him. And our mother will like you too, they promised. The ugly duckling could hardly wait for the mother bird to come. Soon she came flying in with a big juicy worm in her beak. Snap went the ugly duckling's hungry beak as he snatched up the whole big worm. The mother bird was furious. She pulled the worm away from him. Get out of here, you ugly thing, she cried, 
as she chased the frightened, ugly duckling out of the nest. The ugly duckling rushed to the pond as fast as he could go. Everyone hates me because I'm ugly, he thought. Then he lay down on a log and cried. Honk, 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 honk. The ugly duckling heard the sound over his crying. He blinked away his tears and shyly looked around. There, right in front of him, paddling in the water, were four fuzzy white creatures just like him. What's the matter, crying on a beautiful day like this, they asked. Come on in and play with us. The ugly duckling dove off the log and they all began to play. But in the midst of a lively game of water tag, his playmate suddenly swam away, honking happily. The ugly duckling looked up and saw the most beautiful bird in the world. Mother, mother, his new friends cried. We've found a new little brother to play with. Welcome home, said the beautiful Snow White Swan, cradling the ugly duckling in her wing. You are a fine, handsome baby swan, and you'll someday be king of the pond. From the shore, the mother duck and her downy yellow babies watched the ugly ducklings welcome. Come back and play with us, they called. But the ugly duckling sailed happily away with the swans. The end. Now, I just want you to know, it is New Year's Eve. And I know what you're thinking right now. You are thinking about how this year you're going to lose weight. This year you're going to look your best all the time. People are going to be your friend and want to be around you. Well, listen, I understand completely because I've already thought of all those things. That's why I picked this book to read on New Year's Eve. And I'm about to upload it. It's 1030 here. So I've got an hour and a half to remind you. That you are perfect the way you are. Do you want to get healthier? Okay. Do you want to make new friends? Okay. Find new hobbies. Reach some goals. That's fine. But trust me when I say looking better doesn't make everything better. It's just part of you. Beauty comes from the inside. And sometimes we get hurt, but that's okay. I love you. Happy New Year. Remember that you are beautiful and perfectly imperfect in your own ways. And maybe you're not a duck. Maybe you're a swan. Maybe you need to get away from toxic people. Whatever you need to do for you this year, that should be your goal. As always. I wish you sweet, sweet dreams from Satisfying Lullaby, a very happy new year, and as always, a very, very good night.